excited to officially declare the 2021 Punchestown Festival is now underway. It is the biggest week of the year on the Irish racing calendar, featuring 11 grade one contests, over 2.8 million euros in prize money. To say we've missed welcoming our members, our supporters, our clients, our sponsors to Punchestown is certainly an understatement. Looking around us here, when you see the empty parade rings, the stands, the bars and restaurants, it's further testament that it really is the people that make Punchestown. The continued support and loyalty of our sponsors here at Punchestown to keep the show on the road in these challenging times has been vital and we cannot thank them enough. I also particularly want to acknowledge the owners who despite not being able to go racing over recent months have continued to keep their horses in training. This is fundamental to ensure that the action on the track here in Punchestown this week will remain spectacular and as high class as it always is, so that we can continue to enjoy it from the comfort and the safety of our own homes. While there's obviously a lot of change around Punchestown this year, thankfully not everything has changed and some of the very important traditions remain. One of those key traditions is the Baldonnell Singers, who every year officially open the Punchestown Festival. This year, that tradition remains. Well, Baldonnell Singers, we've been going since 2003. Uh, we're a male voice choir, mainly drawn from Kildare, Dublin area. We rehearse in Baldonnell uh, by kind permission of the Air Corps. We're a community-based choir. We're a, a group of men who like singing. Well, we've a long association with Punchestown going back over many years now. You know, we have been uh, invited by Punchestown to come and perform on the opening day. Um, we entertain the crowd in advance of the official opening. And we've been given the honor each year of actually singing the national anthem at the opening ceremony itself. Just to know, just to know somebody wanted. You know, we've performed in the National Concert Hall with Celine Bourne. Uh, we also performed at the Royal Hospital in Kilmainham um, at the time of the Ireland's EU presidency. We also make sure to get away every second year. We've done uh, tours to a number of, of festivals in Barcelona, Santiago de Compostela most recently. There's a huge social element to the choir that uh, we think is very important. De sta fanciulla la luna spande o raggio si chiaro sul mar vieni me cot aspetta la bruna 2020 we were preparing uh, to sing at the opening of the Punchestown festival and of course everything uh, closed down uh, in March so we were left in a situation where you know the group couldn't get together you know, but Zoom was very limited and you can't all sing together, so, you know, you couldn't really do a rehearsal. But then we came across a, another uh, technology that allows each of us uh, to participate from our homes remotely, you know, but it actually mixes the, 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 each individual sound together and produces a, a choral sound, a mixed sound. Um, so uh, we've been, uh, we bought the equipment necessary for every member to, to link in to, to this technology and uh, uh, effectively we've been using it then for rehearsals um, and we've been using it to keep the choir singing together you know and uh, it's been it's been very successful for us. Unless the choir has you know, a goal to attain, you know, then you don't get that performance edge. The invitation from Punchestown, you know, gave us a real focus on a purpose. We're absolutely delighted uh, to have been invited to do it again virtually this year.
I'm delighted to introduce to you the Baldonnell Singers to declare the Punchestown Festival for 2021 officially underway. Shit. 